two guys just went into another guy just You're right. went into the Toledo box. Uh, May, perhaps. It is May. To, yep. So, so the K is going the power play. A rock bottom ink power play to start the second period. Rock bottom, the answer for consumers who consider the environmental and economic benefits of working with a local remanufactured ink cartridge retailer. To learn more, check out rockbottominc.com or give them a call, 748-0636. Okay, what happened was Grantham got four for roughing. So he got the double minor, so May is in there to serve the other two minutes. So the Comets do have the power play. Denis Pepin back at the point, takes a look, comes right to the top of the circle. Sidlowski comes right back. Now the one-timer top of the circle is right on and steered aside. Good shot by Sidlowski. And that time as Fleming tied to feed the pass back, it was intercepted. Now Gilbert with some speed, but offside that time. That was not a very good play at all by the walleye because they had numbers but Kyle Rogers, the captain, went offside. So again, it came at the 20-minute mark, just at the end of the first period. Grantham, a four-minute double roughing penalty. Martini, the two-minute roughing penalty. And then May is in the box to serve the first two minutes. So the K's on the power play, opening 30 seconds and change of period two. We are tied at one. Now that time... The attempted clear that time by C.J. Chartrain. He fired it off his own player. Now, Brewston circles right near the half wall, comes back to Coyle. Coyle to Embach. Embach right at the hash, now top of the circle. One-timer, that's high, and right off the body that time, trying to dig in for the rebound is Nutkovich as Coyle went really upstairs on that one. That was taken right about at the walleye of the goaltender, Toivonen. And now the K's trying to get the man advantage with numbers during the line change. Embach loses control briefly, and it's just turned and whirled away the length of the ice by Abercrombie. Makarov will play as Messier races in for a little bit of poking pressure. Now the Comets will break out, and here's Coyle. To Clark with a burst of speed. Clark, little dipsy doodle, now comes in, tries to shake off his defender that time, Elbrecht. And the Comets, unable to keep the puck in, so Fleming will have to spin, give to Clark, who backhands the pass, cross ice to Coyle. Coyle fakes the shot, now puts it up there, blocked again away, a high shot, as they figure they can go upstairs on Toivonen because he's quick to drop to his knees. Now Clark at the point. Puts a shot right on score! What a great play as Clark saw Marino bursting at the side of the net. There was a veteran play by Aaron Clark as he put the shot right on just to the side of the net, and Marino chips it home for his second goal of the game. The Comets lead 2-1, to one, and they cash on the power play. That's one of the reasons why David Franke wanted Aaron Clark in this lineup so badly and did so much work in the last five, six days to make it happen. Aaron Clark had wanted to be a Fort Wayne Comet for a long time, he had killed the Comets for so many years. Last year with Kalamazoo in 16 games, 7 goals, 12 assists. So really, it doesn't matter if he's in a Comet jersey or playing against the Comets. He plays well when the Comets are in the area. And luckily for all Comet fans now, he's in the orange and black and is doing the job in his first three games. A goal in his first night. Now he picks up an assist. He's making his presence felt here early. That was a fantastic play. He saw Marino streaking on the left side there faked the big shot, and then whipped it right to him on the left side, and Marino is going to cash from there almost every time. Well, second of the night, 25th of the season for the ECHL scoring leader Marino. The assist to Clark and Sean Sidlowski, the power play goal, the rock bottom power play goal at the 158 mark of period two. And there's a shot that, again, caroms off the boards, and Gilles Bear controls, and that will wind up in the crowd. So, again... Those assists going to Aaron Clark and Sean Sidlowski. And for more than six decades, Gregory & Associates has been Fort Wayne's insurance leader. Whether it's auto, home, or any combination you might require, Gregory & Associates is the clear choice to meet all of your protection needs. Let Matt Gregory assist you in obtaining the best rates possible. Give him a call, 432-3695. Two to one comments as they mark on the power play, so... The double rough on Grantham hurts the walleye. And also, Kent, just great to see the power play getting going. Because, yes. I mean, that, is, that has been a struggle. And, and anything that 
can happen positively with that unit out there only helps the confidence, hopefully helps it get it and going in the right direction over these uh, last just over dozen games. Now Embach again with speed racing in in the off wing, puts on the brakes, takes the hit, controls the puck. Oh, a great centering pass that time, Konukovic, and he was drilled to the ice by Nicastro as he tried to one time the difficult play in the middle. Now Sidlowski steps into his man as Perlini looks to center, poked away. Popped into the air, and here comes Marini trying to get the bouncing biscuit under control. Pass intended for Nutkovich is intercepted by Chartrain. Now Sidlowski controls, loses the puck as he's hounded by Perlini. Now darting in that time was May. Oh, right out in front, but it slips just past the net. Makarov had to be alert on that one. Again, here comes Embach. He's always around the puck when he's on the ice. Little backhand attempt. He comes away with the puck again from May. Tries to center in front. Stepping through all sorts of traffic was Fleming. Now a little pass is gloved down by Messier, and he starts the breakout for Toledo. Looks to feather ahead to May. They are on side, dumped into the corner where Lacoste will collect for the Ks. He'll turn, weave through his own zone. Now he circles behind the net, tries to reset, banks it off the boards. Marino serves the pass ahead to Fleming, who comes cross ice to Lacoste. Lacoste feeds ahead to Clark for Marino. There's a shot. It right in front, blocked on, rebound attempt by Clark, didn't get a lot of lumber on it. Again, he evades the defender and still controls the puck. What an acquisition Aaron Clark has been. And when you come from the Toledo perspective, biting the hand that once fed him. Comet's putting on all sorts of pressure. Now Clark steps into Albrecht just for a little bit of fun. Kay's putting pressure right on as Marino poaching around looking for the hat trick. Toivonen able to glove the puck for the whistle in the faceoff. Great pressure early on here by the K's. We were talking about getting that traffic in front. You're seeing that happen here in the first moments of the second period. Definitely exactly what the K's need to do in order to be successful, especially when they're out here on the road and get those dirty goals in front. We'll let Miller and Brewston on the ice for the Comets. And here come the Wally again looking to break out as... Pair off ahead. Grantham can't control and turning is Brewsted ahead to Willette. Willette back in the lineup after a bit of an injury and just offside that time is Miller. Well, one of the things I've been impressed with in this game, Tommy, I got to see a little bit of Friday's game. Did not get to take in last night's game, but uh, you pointed this out in the first period with these new acquisitions. Uh, you have obviously Aaron Clark, Brewston. And then you also have Brunito, Christian Willette back in the lineup, taking a little time for them to somewhat come together, but it looks like throughout this weekend, especially the newcomers, they've started to gel. Yeah, I think that they have fit in very nicely, and, and to me, uh, both Brewston and Aaron Clark have added something that was missing from the current roster that we had. So it wasn't just trades to make trades. It was with a, a definite intent, and uh, I believe that the Comets have done a good job in getting what they needed. Now Willette keeps the puck in, little toe drag, but poked away that time by Peroff. Comets applying all sorts of pressure in front of the Toledo net. Now here come the Walleye looking to break out. That pass a little too strong for Grantham. He just tries to fire it on net, caromed off the skate that time of Kenton Miller, and it goes deep in the Toledo zone, and it will be icing called against the Comets. Well, here's going to be the interesting thing, because we talk about the new additions and acquisitions. We have to keep in mind Matt Carter out with an injury, Dean Ouellette out with an injury, Chris Auger out with an injury. Those are three pretty important players. When you take a look at Carter, he's got 17 goals, and you take a look at Auger, who leads the team with 26 Gary Graham's going to have some tough calls to make when these guys start to get healthy. Uh, not to mention the fact, I mean, you can make the argument that Dean Willett is the is the most talented player on the team. I mean, uh, you know, obviously there 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 are the Marinos and OJs that would have something to say about that, but he's right up there talent-wise with anybody that we have, and you're right. There's, there's uh, you know, there was a portion of the year there where we had the first line, and that was about it. I don't feel like that that's, uh, that's what we have going into the playoffs if we can get not only into the playoffs, but then also get healthy. I feel like we have a, a strong two lines, maybe even two and a half lines, when you look at uh, different guys that can be real weapons when playing together, and that's what they were trying to do with all the different player acquisitions and trades and, and moves that they've made over the last two months or so, 
and, and I believe that they've gotten things into the right position. It's just a, a question of, A, can we get in, B, can we get healthy, and then can we just start getting moved in the right direction? Well, really, first things first, and that will be, you know, and this is the oldest axiom in sports, you know, the, the Comets are one shift at a time, one period at a time, and the old one game at a time, because they have to start piling up some points, as that's whistled for an offside in order to close out these final 13 games and get themselves first and foremost into the playoffs. We have a timeout here at the Huntington Center, 13-11 to go in period two. Comets lead two to one. You're watching My Comets on My TV. Parkview Sports Medicine and airing exclusively on My TV Fort Wayne. Back at the Huntington Center, Tommy Shegler, Ken Horman, the Comets on the attack again as that time Aaron Clark just tries to fire one on goal, and it went into the body of Elbrecht as he clears it the length of the rink, and that'll be an icing charge against the walleye. Comets have now outshot Toledo 28-20. to So for the period, the Comets have a 7-3 to shot advantage. I want to remind everybody, Parkview Sports Medicine is a collaboration between Sport One Orthopedics, AWP Sports Training, Parkview Athletic Rehabilitation, and Parkview Physicians Group, also included in PSM's REACH, affiliated physicians, therapists, trainers, businesses, sports facilities, teams, and families. Partnerships have been developed with the Plex, Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Tin Caps, Spies Fieldhouse, and the Diamond. Of course, Parkview Sports Medicine is our proud title sponsor here of Comet Hockey on my TV and it has been a lot of fun can can you believe after today we only have one game left on our 12 game broadcast schedule here in this maiden voyage of Comet Road Hockey yep and we hope it continues for many years to come you'll be right back here at the Huntington Center on April 4th yep that's the last one April 4th Friday April 4th K's will be here in Toledo seven o'clock I will be here Comets breaking in Aaron Clark in the slot shot just slithers wide. Boy, Aaron Clark has been quite a presence in this one. Now Shalunov breaking in on Simone Denis Pepin, who just rides him off the play and sends him tumbling to the ice. Denis Pepin, who's really amped up his game since he got healthy, he races in to try to be part of the offensive break-in, but that was a nifty play that time, poked away by Peroff. Comets control, and there is the tall man. You can see him anywhere on the ice, Simone Denis Pepin. Now here comes Clark, just trying to feather the shot, and Marino whistled it wide. Fleming along the boards, right in front, sent back to the point. Little dipsy doodle by Hartman as he tries to put a shot that could be possibly deflected on. Needham all pokes away, and now here come the walleye looking for numbers. Perlini deep into the corner, and the defenseman Needham all who jumped in in the play, trading a big hit that time with Denis Pepin, but he collects the puck, and he starts the breakout for the Caves. Looks to flip it ahead that time to the newcomer, Burston. And now the Comets. Watch the walleye just flip it high. That time, Brunito just tried to bat it down with the glove, and it's gathered in by Burkamper. Now Burkamper pinched along the wall by Brunito. Christian Roulette tries to come away with the puck, but the walleye still control. Now deep behind the zone. Cutting off his man is Joe Hartman. He just rings it along the boards, and that'll go down the length of the rink, but it just slipped past Chartrain, and there will be no icing. It was waved off. Comets change. You now have Miller out there with Willette, but Brewston's going to go off the ice. Willette looks for a centering pass, but nobody home as the Ks were changing. Now here's Nukovic sliding in. That just goes through the crease into the corner. Now Coyle weaves back to the point. He snaps the shot right on. Kicked out that time by Toivonen. Now he'll come the walleye back the other way as Grantham just dumps it in. So Toledo going for some fresh troops. Losing an edge that time. Racing in was Abercrombie. Now Sidlowski puts the pass ahead for Embach. Embach tries to slide along the boards. Evades the check. Deep into the corner. Toledo looks to break out, but pinched in that time on a crafty play by Nutkovic. Here's Embach right in front, but he loses the handle. Now Toledo again looking to break out. That time May bangs it off the skates of Sidlowski. Racing in though is Messier. Messier tries to tuck one in and a good job by Makarov to hold his ground. Breakout pass and here come the Comets. Embach puts the shot right on and again off the glove that time of Toivonen. 
Boy, Mike Ambach has been playing like a man possessed in this game. He seems to be around the puck all over the ice tonight. Another guy that's really impressed me all weekend long is Cy Nutkovich. He has played well. He was all around the puck on Friday night, scored a goal, scored what I thought was another goal later on that ended up uh, getting uh, tallied to Marino, but he was nonetheless involved in that play. He's been around the puck again tonight. He's getting to the front of the net. Uh, yeah, I think he's had a good weekend, uh, and that's obviously something that is good to see out of out of a guy that uh, you know has has had different parts of the season where he's looked great, other parts of the season where you know the, you go through those ebbs and flows of a year, and it seems like uh, Nutkovich is really starting to come on right now. Uh, Gilles Bear trying to split the defense. The puck was just left laying there, and Shalunov snapped it right on and kicked out of there by Makarov. Again, there will be no icing, and racing back to collect the puck is Peroff. Now at the high wall, that's just chipped by Rogers. Shalunov is ridden off the play in that time. As Marino, who is always a solid presence at both ends of the ice. Now Mo spins around, top of the circle, feathers the pass ahead to the breaking in Hartman from the blue line. He'll just chip it back into the corner, pushed off the play by Rogers. And now here come the walleye. Shalunov tries to slide past Hartman, but can't. The puck is sitting there for Marino. Marino comes across. Quick return pass to Clark. Now to Fleming. He snaps the shot right on. This just in. You may not want to try the glove of Toivonen very much because he has a tremendous catching mitt. We have a timeout here at the Huntington Center. 9.04 to go in period two. Comets lead 2-1. to one. You're watching My Comets on My TV. Sports Medicine. Back at the action here in the Huntington Center, and that puck just slides right through the crease. Makarov thought that should be icing, but if it caught some of the paint, that would negate the ice. So now, Burke Kemper stepped into by Nutkovich. He gathers the puck, and again, the Com is doing a good job of clogging up the neutral zone. Now it's Albrecht chipping it high off the glass past Nutkovich, gathered in by Coyle. Coyle comes across to Martini, ahead to Nutkovich, his little backhand pass. That time was grabbed briefly by Embach, who couldn't find Nutkovich. Now Martini will just feather it into the zone. Albrecht knocks it down with the stick. Good coordination there. Grantham tries to chip it out. Embach has it, and the Comets will recycle as Martini fires it right up the middle. Good pass right in the stick by Nutkovich, whose body is great in control. Embach tried to feed it back into the middle, and there was nobody there. Nutkovich steps into his man. Brett Perlini, so the Comets, this is more or less of a checking line out there with Embach, and then when you factor in Nutkovich and Sidlowski, but they're doing a great job. That was just chipped in off the stick of Miller. Elbrecht tries to chop it away. Now Grantham leaves. Again at center ice. Hartman doing a good job of clogging up Messier. Now Elbrecht looks for Messier. They joust along the boards. Hartman flips it up high. Brewston can't quite get the puck, and now here's Jesse Messier as he crosses into the Comet zone. Working on Brunito, that's a shot that goes right into the body that time, and now Brunito and Messier. Now they're not exactly sharing dinner reservations, so the linesmen step in quickly to make sure there's nothing further. Good save by Makarov to hold his ground as he just flips the puck on the big mitt 726 to go here in period two comets with a two to one lead as brandon marino scored on the power play 158 in his second of the night and 25th of the season and that last save by makaroff makes you realize that outside of those first 10 minutes or so we haven't really seen uh, a lot of pucks coming his way i mean he's kind of settled in nicely the defense has settled in nicely in front of him the guys are playing uh, a good game right now in front of Andre Makarov, and he's been there when needed. Now Marino glides in, and has again steered aside with the blocker of Toivonen. Comets have now outshot the walleye 10 to 6 in this period, 31 to 23 for the match. Marino tries to work past Shalunov, just tries to flip a backhander in, where it's collected by Nicastro. Chartrain feeds ahead to Shalunov. Shalunov, a big body. Now into Kyle Rogers, the captain, who is playing with the full face shield. He is stepped into with authority by Simone Denis Pepin. And the Comets look to break it out. Here comes Marino with speed. Let's see if he can work past the Castro. Now Marino tries to put the shot on, but it's off the body that time in the Castro. And that time it's just served off the sideboards by Shalunov. Gilbert flips it in. 
as it will be a full change for the walleye. Comets will see if they can find a breakout with some open ice. Coyle comes ahead to Embach. Embach with speed in the off wing. Here comes Embach trying to slide past his defender, but that time Perak just put his body between the net and Embach. That time it goes off the skates of John May, and the Comets are eventually called for an offside as Nutkovich was ready to snipe. So we have another timeout here at the Huntington Center. 6-10 to go in period two. Comets lead 2-1. to one. You're watching My Comets on my TV. Way, presented by Parkview Sports Medicine. Face off just outside the Toledo zone, controlled by the Comets, but Hartman snaps it in, and Comets again doing a good job. That time, Brewston is just bodied off the play as Needhamall handing out some punishment, but the Ks continue the attack. Now Miller keeps it in deep. Christian Willette, good to see him back in the lineup. He does a great job of keeping his body between the puck and the defender as Abercrombie is working on Willette. Now the Comets, a great forecheck on this line. Brewston, Miller, and Willette. May spins out of his zone and tries to lead the breakout, and Messier just fires it deep. Makarov can't quite put the big stick, so it rings around the boards, winds up clear back all the way down into the Toledo zone where Albrecht has to chase it down. Miller glides through the crease. Now it'll be Willette applying the forecheck. While I look to break out, Abercrombie slips the check that time of Embach. Comes into the Comet zone with speed. Here comes the rookie, Brunito, as he just steers him off the play. Back to the point, Elbrecht guides it into the corner. Now Brunito races in, but Perlini beats him to the puck, so Brunito just steps into him. They try to pin it along the boards, and the Comets come away with it. Good pass that time that goes right on the stick of Sidlowski. Sidlowski trying to work his way in. Spins right on goal, and there is a big scrum in front of the net. Good power move that time by Sidlowski as he evaded the defender, and again, Toivonen had to be ready. I'll tell you what, one of the things that has happened, again, with the acquisition of Brewston, and then with the return of Willette to the lineup, the Comets, I think, have a better physical presence, Tommy. They've got some bigger guys out there. They're very, very strong in their blades, and they're outstanding at controlling their body. And now I think they've got a unit out there that can actually start wearing some teams down. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, and then uh, even with uh, some of the other guys, uh, a guy like Clark is not a big guy, but the way that he Strong. plays, yeah, uh, you know, I would think that he would wear an opponent down after a while. Well, he's one of those guys who plays beyond his size, leaves a perfect pass. That time, Lacoste fires it high. They battle behind the net. And again, there is Clark trying to establish the physical presence. I'll tell you, another guy who plays much bigger than his size is Brandon Marino. Did a good job of taking the Toledo player off as Shalunov fired it right on, sticked aside into the corner by Makarov. Now Gidel Bear leaves for Shalunov. He's ridden off the play by Lacoste, and here is Fleming. A little bit of a dangerous pass that's right in front. That is gathered in by Simone Denis Pepin. Snaps the pass ahead to Marino, who will backhand it deep into the corner. Chartrain will run it down. Comets are changing personnel. And here comes Chartrain leading the breakout for the walleye. A little stick handling. Gifty play that time by Burkemper. And a shot right into the body that time by Perlini. Makarov again was right there as he took it right off the orange fireball. And now the Comets breaking out with speed. Hartman takes the pass, puts the shot right on. Blocked aside that time by Toivonen. Brewston into the corner. Here's Willett. He dances around, again takes the hit, just tries to feed it along the boards. It caromed off a char train. Now Perlini cycles it back, and it'll be Max Nicastro for the walleye ahead to char train. Stepped into that time by Brewston. There is no icing on the play. Now the walleye going for a change. We are down to the final three minutes and six of period number two. That'll be too strong for Miller, and that'll be icing on the Comets. 33 to 25, the shots favor Fort Wayne, so the Comets have outshot the walleye so far here in period two to the tune of 12 to eight. The Ks have the lone goal of the period, and that coming very early at the 158 mark, a power play goal by Marino, his second of the night. Marino now has 25 goals on the season, so he's one behind Auger for the team lead, and the Comets have the two to one advantage. 
Well, this is the type of period that you really just want to see the K's finish strong. I mean, they've played solid for the first 17 minutes of the period. Let's make sure that the last three is just as intense as the first 17 has been because they've done the work needed to get the advantage in this game. The last thing they want to do is give Toledo any kind of momentum headed into the locker room for the final 20. Yeah, that last couple of minutes so important. They always say the first couple of minutes and the last couple are very important in a period. Now Brunito, a neat little backhand move to get it onto the stick of Hartman ahead to Willette. Now Willette steps into the zone. Again, a good job of just controlling the puck. That time chopped aside by Needamall. It comes back to the point to Coyle. Top of the circle. He fakes the drive. Takes a look. Looks to center. Good diving poke check that time by Needamall. But again, the big body of Willette feeds it back to the point. Martini surveys the situation. There's a drive high and blocked aside that time by Toivonen. Sainukovic on the ice, steps into his man as he knocked Messier to the ice. Here comes Coyle as the Comets come in onside. Coyle leans in as he's tried to bite bodied off the play by Peroff. Now the walleye looking to breaking out with numbers. Here comes Rogers. Rogers, little toe drag, looks to center. I don't think it's in the net as everybody went flying into the crease and the net came off its moorings. Toledo was lobbying that the puck was on its way into the net. Dangerous coil sliding across, almost slid it into the, into the net with his body. Well, and as uh, we take a look at the replay here in the arena, I mean, you can make the argument that Toledo might have a little bit of an argument here. I mean, the, the coil was sprawled out trying to avoid the centering feed from getting across, and he deflected it towards the goal line and I really feel like it was only because the net came off the moorings that that deflection off of his own body didn't end up crossing the line. So the, K the K's definitely kind of dodged the bullet there. Now, not a large complaint from the walleye. Here's Marino. Centers as Fleming comes down the middle. Now a little backhand pass to Marino. Marino looked the center in front as Denis Pepin was parked right in front of the net as he sneaked in from his defensive point from the blue line. Now turning with the puck is Fleming. Fleming just loses a stick, then tries to kick a centering pass. And coming away is Shalunov ahead to Kyle Rogers. He has just stepped into very neatly by Lacasse, who just rides him off the play. The knee Pepin controls, has it poked away by Shalunov. Shalunov looks to center, diving defensive play, outstanding by Lacasse, who jumps into the breakout. Now he has the puck. Great pass by Clark, now it goes, Fleming puts the shot, and again it's speared by that quick catching glove of Toivonen. <laughs> We've seen it time and time again this evening, Toivonen with that leather is <laughs> very much up to the test. Well, I think I was looking at the schedule, Tommy. When you're here April 4th for the final My TV game and the Comets are right back here against Toledo, I think the Mud Hens open up across the street. If they need a first baseman with a big mitt, <laughs> if Toivonen wants to hang around, as he has an outstanding catching glove. Now C.J. Chartrain put it into the corner. There's a little joust there with Nicastro. And I'll tell you what, this line of Miller... Brewston and Willette doing a great job in the forecheck. Now Willette tries to weave through traffic, still has the puck, looks to center, goes through a maze of players, and it's dug into the corner. Hartman came racing in from his defensive position. Now he takes the pass at the point, gets it across. Brunito tries to feed it right in front. There's a shot spinning around that time was Brewston. It's just going off a maze of players. Now back to Hartman. He tries to snap it again off the blocker of Toivonen. We are down to the final 12 seconds. Comets trying to continue to put the pressure on. Willette racing behind the net. He was hooked on the play. There was no call there. As getting away with one was Riley Grantham. And that will do it for period number two. And the Comets get the lone goal. That coming at the 158 mark. The power play goal by Marino. And they have the 2-1 to one advantage after two periods of play over Toledo. We will take a break. We'll come back and recap period number two and set the stage for the third period. Comets lead two to one. You're watching My Comets on My TV.